Today, we'll be learning a little bit more about SCP-745, better known as the Headlights. This was one of the highest requested SCPs. down a desolate stretch of highway somewhere in New Mexico. There's nothing out here except for you, your car, and the road. They always start out so what spooky. What you don't know is that you're about to encounter something. Something terrifying. Of course. No okay, this is going to be a Keter class for your sure. Your own car is barely lighting up the dark road ahead of you. Just then, you spot something in your rearview It's not going to be a car. Headlights. There's nothing too strange about them. Oh, uh, boys. Your eyes are so adjusted to the darkness that you have to look away. When you glance in the mirror again, you see that they're closer. Much closer. Somebody has their high they beams on. Be going awfully fast. You don't know why, but something about the car behind you makes you feel uneasy. Yeah, maybe it's the fact that they have massively overpowered headlights. Maybe you can keep some distance from them. Speed up. The lights keep getting closer. Oh no, no, so no. A little more. Still they gain on you, growing bigger and bigger in your rearview mirror. You're getting nervous. They look like they are barreling right towards you. You floor it. The lights are able go, to go, keep go, up go, 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 go. How? And now they're right on your tail. No matter how fast you go, they stay right behind you. The that is so, so weird. Close that they're almost blinding. You're in a full-blown panic. What is going on? Now the lights are swerving back and forth behind you. What do they want? You take a sharp turn without indicating, but they follow you without difficulty. Okay, that's you the keep creepiest your foot part. Smash down on the accelerator. Your engine is screaming, but they just get closer and closer. They're oh, right guys, I'm getting bumper. creeped out. The bright white lights burn your eyes so bad that you swat at the rearview mirror to point it down. You look up just in time to see the Whoa! deer standing in the middle of the road. You slam on your brakes as- Wait guys, is the deer a part of the SCP? Are they working together? Somehow does the SCP control the deer? I, I need answers to this. Hard as you can, your tires squeal loudly in the night, and you brace yourself to both hit the deer and get rear-ended from behind. You stop inches from the deer as something incredible happens. The deer didn't the even move. Seem to split. Huh? Passing by you on either side of your car. It you and the wasn't deer a lock car? eyes for a split second as if you're both thinking, what was that? Before the deer hops away into the night. Um. You don't know what's happening, but you're not going to wait around to find out. You throw the car in reverse and hit the gas. Okay, guys, I want you to comment down below what you would do in that particular situation. I mean, at the start, I would probably, if I am on a road in the middle of the desert um, and somebody is riding my butt, I would probably tell them to, like, pass. Like, usually if you're driving, you could be like, hey, if you want to speed, you could go in front of me. And I would start with that. And then if they didn't do that, then I would get really creeped out. I would probably call my mom and have my mom come pick me up because my mom would fight them. Um, but if that doesn't work and then I kept going faster and the headlights split and swerved around me, I would probably think that it's like two motorcycles that were riding next to each other and they're just being weird, like playing a prank on me. And then they dodged me at the very last second. But if it wasn't that... I guess, I don't know, maybe the SCP literally is just like a light that flies around. I have no idea what it looks like yet, so I'm kind of curious to see. Before whipping it around 180 degrees, you can't remember how far the last town was, but there's no chance you're going in the direction of those lights. You drive as fast as you can, checking your mirror constantly to see if anything is behind you. Oh, Nothing. if they come back, just I am going to freak out, boys. You're finally safe. No, they're nope, right in front nope, of you. Nope, the lights oh, no. are out of nowhere, right in front of your car. You turn the wheel hard to avoid a head-on collision and you go flying off the road, oh, smashing no. your head against the window. Oh, the dude! Car flipping and rolling and tumbling. The car comes to a stop a hundred feet off the road, them. upside down, with a lone blinking turn signal dimly lighting up the surrounding field. A single headlight approaches the car. Just a single one. Like a vehicle. It's moving like an animal. Oh my your gosh, from the accident, what is this your thing? Is starting to fade. The last thing you see is a second light approaching. The next morning, the local sheriff That's is investigating it? the scene of a single car accident. Curiously, there's no body. Oh Just a few scraps of my cloth, god. A pair of tennis shoes sitting neatly in the upside down roof of the car. Strangest though, are the childlike handprints all over the dirty child -like car door. Childlike handprints? The sheriff doesn't know what to think. That's weird. What the sheriff doesn't know is that he has just come upon the aftermath of an SCP-745 What? A okay, all right. That's what we've been watching this entire time. 
That is insane, dude. That looks like the Pixar lamp had a child with like a Velociraptor. What the actual flip? That is crazy. And obviously, it's a carnivore. Look at those teeth. They are the sharpest teeth. It basically has like dinosaur T-Rex teeth. So you know for a fact that dude is dead. That dude is deader than dead on a Tuesday morning. And it, the weirdest part is its mouth like isn't even on its face. It's like on its neck, which is just even more creepy. Strange and mysterious creature known as the headlights. SCP yeah, that makes sense. It looks like headlights. The SCP Foundation has given to a bipedal nocturnal predator whose hunting grounds are an abandoned stretch of highway in northern New Mexico. SCP-745's most distinctive feature by far is its head. Well, yeah, it's not the tail. A bloated sack of translucent skin. There are no Ew. visible sensory organs oh, it's present its on the head, nor does it appear to have a solid skull. Oh. And the creature's brain can be directly seen through the semi-transparent skin which is covered in a web of bioluminescent organs. These organs are capable of producing a steady output of light that's been measured between 1400 to 3200 lumens, which is the equivalent that sounds of pretty bright, bright xenon gas headlights. Right, okay. The entity has been observed to have the ability to change the color of this light. Okay, that's as well really as flash cool. It in specific patterns. I need this it for my gaming setup. It engages in this behavior as a way to defend itself and potentially also use it as a way to communicate with other members of Also guys, are you seeing this right now? It looks like this creature has more arms than Okay, wait. Does it? I, I'm kind of confused. The arms are looking really weird. Like, I didn't realize that they could put their arms out to the side, so it kind of looks like their wings, but the one on the left, I don't know, like the legs kind of look like feet, and the feet kind of look like hands, and I'm very, very confused. ...of its species. The rest of SCP-745's body is covered in skin that is a deep, dark, black color that almost seems to absorb light. This huh. quality, when paired with their blindingly bright head protrusion, gives the appearance of a floating point of light in the darkness. Whoa. Because SCP-745 entities hunt almost exclusively in pairs, with their preferred hunting grounds being remote sections of highway, they are easily mistaken for oncoming or approaching headlights. Two SCP-745 entities are able to move together in perfect synchronicity, running in tandem at speeds up to 180 kilometers what? per hour. What? Together, are you joking? vehicles that they spot on the highway and will begin to chase or run straight towards them. I'm also kind of curious, guys. They've mentioned that this SCP can change colors um, of the light that's on its forehead, but can it, like, turn off the light if it wanted to? That would be really overpowered because it could basically just, like, disappear at a moment's notice, especially if it hunts at night and the entire body is pitch black. I guess they could make the light black, but that probably wouldn't work. Honestly, you would still be able to see it. So if they could turn off the light, that would be just even more deadly. Giving the unlucky driver the impression that a fast moving car is rapidly approaching them. After they near the targeted car, they will attempt to stop it by any means necessary, whether by simply forcing the driver to pull over out of fear oh, did they or by running them put off the, the deer road completely. There? Once their prey has stopped, crashed, or become otherwise incapacitated, the pair will stop moving together and approach the car separately to directly assault and then consume the vehicle's occupants. Okay, so he did Next get eaten. Next no remains are left following an attack, save for a few scraps of clothing in the victim's shoes. Other than the damage sustained during the accident, there is never any other sign of struggle or forced entry, with the only other evidence left at the scene being the childlike handprints from SCP-745's oh, small front paws. Oh, interesting, okay. Strangely, Analysis of SCP-745's genetic structure has revealed that unlike humans, they are not a carbon-based life form. Meaning what? it is unlikely they're then aliens? that they are able to derive any nutrition from the consuming of human so flesh. They're just doing it, it for fun? Then that they may be hunting solely for sport or some other form of perverse enjoyment. What? This question remains unanswered, as currently there are no recorded observations of SCP-745 feeding in the wild, as successful attacks have never left any witnesses. Wow. And specimens captured by the SCP Foundation refuse to eat it all. Hmm. No layers, nests, or other refuge of SCP-745 has ever been found. So they're basically Nor has aliens. The Foundation located any breeding grounds or young examples of the entity. It's unknown oh. how or if they reproduce, or when they may have first appeared. What is known is that they had established a wide hunting territory across the American Southwest until Foundation teams began a program to thin their numbers in the 1960s. 1968. The effort appears to have been successful so far, 
and all recent oh, sightings working. of SCP-745 have been limited to a specific stretch of highway in northern New Mexico. Okay, if you guys are there, just SCP be on the lookout, you know. SCP-745 classified as Euclid, and in order to limit huh. potential exposure to civilians, the Foundation has purchased the land surrounding the highway, with That's traffic smart. being redirected to other roads. Foundation security teams disguised as highway patrol officers are to remove any trespassers or lost travelers who accidentally find themselves on the dangerous stretch of highway. The security teams are also tasked with attempting to capture any instances of SCP-745. How? Can, oh, with a net. And any recovered creatures, live or dead, are to be loaded into Class 3 BCU storage containers and transferred to Site 17 for further study. So it doesn't seem like the SCP has any, like, crazy abilities other than the fact that it has a giant light bulb on its brain and that can change colors. That's, like, the only cool ability that it seems to have. Um, it doesn't have anything like the prototype, for example, can, like, make a black hole out of thin air. Um, so it's basically like an animal in the wild but we have animals like this just like obviously not on land we have tons and tons of fish in the sea that have this like same sort of bioluminescent feature where like it looks like they have a light bulb obviously you guys have probably seen nemo and there's a fish in the movie that literally has like a little tiny dangling light bulb very similar to this scp's light bulb that is basically like on its head that is used as a distraction to basically get its prey to like, I don't know, just like think something different that there's no actual danger. And then as soon as they get close enough, boom, they're dead. So it's kind of the same exact thing, but we don't have anything like it on land. It, and, uh, yeah, I mean, unless we're counting this SCP as real. Containment procedures that are able to preserve living specimens are still being researched. And currently, no examples of SCP-745 have survived for more than a week in captivity. Poor guy. However, Seeing as there have been no new sightings of SCP-745 outside are, are they of the isolated and monitored stretch of highway, and all reports of phantom lights elsewhere in the country have not pointed to evidence of additional SCP-745 outbreaks, they are considered to be effectively contained. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, that was definitely one of the weirdest SCP entries I've heard yet 